In this video, we're going to be covering the basic features of the EST Blinginator. It's pretty straightforward to use. So let's first of all just show you what it actually does. So this is very typical. I have my rhinestone design done. I want to generate a proof for my client. And I always like to add the little bling sparkle just to add a little flair to it. So what I have right now, each one of these items is one individual object or one individual stone. So what I'm going to do is select all these objects define the number of blings I want which I'm going to do 12 and the first thing I need to do is define what I want for my bling shape so I'm going to click on path number one and I'm going to choose star one and hit save and then I'm going to click on path number two and hit star two now the next button over it says it tells you this will allow you to choose a bling shape that is currently on the page and apply it to the current selection and the next one over tells you that it will take any current shape with the name of bling and change it to any other shape you choose. Okay, so we're going to see how all this works here momentarily. So first things first, we could define a size for our bling, the number of blings we want. We can choose if we want random size, random sizing of the bling shapes and how much randomness we want. We can also randomly rotate, and we can also define a bling color. So most of the time, though, we're going to define uh, a white uh, color. But once we've defined our bling color, then we can go ahead and actually apply the bling. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all of these objects and then click on the icon for my first bling shape and you can see that randomly those blings have been applied. Now there are some options down here where we can do a horizontal sweep, a vertical sweep, or totally random. So for example, and each one gives you a little bit different result. Let's do a horizontal sweep of the blings and you can see that gives us a nice arrangement of blings that way as well. And then if we did a vertical sweep then we get that kind of shape. So everything's a little bit different. Now, it's really a matter of personal preference, but what I like to do is apply the blings, and then I like to go into the wireframe mode, and then if there's a bling, like these two blings are pretty close together, I think it's just easier to see the blings um, in wireframe mode, and I can make any adjustments I want to make. And if I want to add one additional bling, I can. All I have to do is click and drag and right-click on my... Uh, mouse and I can create an additional bling shape and then we can go back in the enhance view and that just to me gives us a nice little uh, added little something uh, to it so it's really just a matter of personal preference now what we'll notice here in the object manager there's a new layer that's created and let's go over here and take a look at this there's a new layer called bling layer with all of our bling elements on it so all I have to do is just turn that layer on and off to get rid of those bling shapes. Because once I get final approval from my customer, then I'm going to take all of these objects without the bling and export to EPS to go into my cutting software to cut my template. So that is the basis of how this works. And you could explore some of the other features um, as well um, if you so choose. But you'll see that the Blinginator just does what it does. I, um, it's very easy to use, um, and the end result is great. And you know, experiment with different bling shapes, create some of your own. Um, you know, try some different things, and I think you'll find that the Blinginator is a nice little addition to finishing off your rhinestone proofs for your customers, and for the website as well. Thanks for watching.